All right there guys. So one of the things we are doing this spring to get this mower ready for mowing season is we're going to be installing a fuel shutoff switch. Uh, it gets installed in the fuel line. And the reason I'm doing this is I've noticed that the fuel tank itself seems to have been losing some fuel. And I think it's going into the crankcase, which means the needle in the carb is getting a little weak. You can re rebuild the carb to fix it, but on this old of a machine, um, it's kind of my backup and I'm just not being bothered with it. Anyway, as I was saying, on this machine is a little on the old side and it's more or less my backup machine slash toes my little my yard sweeper and my yard little wagon around so i'll just put a fuel shut off in it and be done with it so and i'll show you how that goes on real quick all right so this here is an inline fuel shut off valve and as the name describes it installs in line with your fuel system so you cut your fuel supply line, put the end from the tank on one end, you put the end to the fuel filter and carb on the other end, you give it a 90 degree turn to open it, and a 90 degree turn shuts your fuel flow off. And this, these pieces are really cheap, probably under 10 bucks, and it's a good way just to ensure that you don't uh, flood the crankcase with fuel if the carb needle was to not sit and seat and close. Uh, fuel will bleed through the carb, fill the cylinder, and go past the rings into your crankcase. So we will be installing this on this old mower of mine. And I'm about to show you guys how to do it. So here's my fuel line. There's a the fuel filter. Uh, a couple little extra parts you will need is at least you're going to need a clamp or two. I have these little constant tension clamps and I have some extra fuel line laying around so I just cut a little piece of it off. If you didn't have extra fuel line you would, could use this line and cut it back right about there and then that would give you the little piece that you would need but since I already have some laying around in the shop I just figure I'll use that then I don't have to actually cut a fuel line that's here. So. But you'll squeeze this clamp, slide it back, slide the line off. I have a can to catch whatever gasoline comes out of the line. I'll slide this end onto the filter with a clamp. Put the fuel shut off switch in and we're good to go. Alright, here we go. Start by taking this here clamp off. Just gonna squeeze it. Slide it back. Get this fuel line. Ow. All right. And pretty much got everything out of that now. Just a little bit dribbling out. So we're going to put the valve in. As you can see, the valve's got an arrow on it indicating which way the flow goes. So you're going to need that arrow pointing towards the carburetor. So it's going to go this way. Push that in on that side. So I put my little stub line to my fuel filter. Put on its clamp. So it's clamped. Get my next clamp, slide it over the fuel line put this together slide it back hopefully you guys can see this just a little and set it and there we go so that's on there lastly go ahead and take this clamp back Squeeze this clamp, slide it back forwards, put it back where it was, and there you go. There's a fuel line disconnect now installed on the mower. Turn it that way, fuel's on, turn it that way, fuel's off. So, 
and it should be it's in right about a good spot to where I can reach up and not have to tilt the hood I can just reach in and flip it now we'll put some gas in this one this mower doesn't didn't get any actual mowing time last year as I said it's my backup so its blades don't need to get sharpened so now now we got the fuel shut off in check the air filter and did an oil change on it this one is ready to go and get put to work right. and that's it right there it's actually there's a really simple repair this will make life a whole lot easier um, it is something I would even honestly recommend on most anything that's got a fuel tank with these little carbs just having a fuel shut off that you can kill the fuel you won't have to worry about anything leaking into the cylinder getting past the rings and filling the crankcase so this is an easy repair this is like a 1 out of 10 and it literally takes a pair of pliers something to cut fuel line either a knife or you could even use um I've used garden shears but you just need something short enough to cut a rubber line and a couple little clamps super simple super quick and easy to do and even with the hood shut I can still get in here and get to the switch so there we go this lawnmower is just about ready to get out there this season all right so now we're over on the other lawnmower got a catch can we're going to be doing the same as the other one and changing the oil uh as you can see we've already installed the fuel shut off switch right here this is the oil drain on this lawnmower it's kind of a quick release doodad you kind of turn it to unlock it and then you pull it out and it drains the oil but it kind of makes a mess so what i try to do to kind of use a little bit of like a funnel out of an old oil filter top so that it'll when I pop it out make sure it goes into the catch can there it goes while we wait for the oil to drain we can go ahead and work on the filter once again I'm going to be using my claw, my filter claw, and this time I've got a 3 8 ratchet on it, because I have a little more room to work. Just a stubby ratchet, so pardon me, looking like I'm struggling. The old filter comes off and earlier I prepared the new filter all I gotta do again with a lubed gasket is thread the new filter up into place and there we go again hand tight all right so for Getting that quick valve out, I needed to come out a little further from the frame so I don't make a complete mess. The engine block right there is 3 8 pipe thread. So I have a 5 inch piece of 3 8 pipe. Getting a little bit of pipe dope here. Put that on the threads. Ahead and extra liberally slobber that on. Piped out those threads. Put that into the block. Got my pair of Swedish water pump pliers here. Not a lot of room to 
to work on this. I'm going to put a 90 on this end right here. Add that there, 90 on there. See if we can get at least. I need another three quarters of a turn complete between the pipe and the 90. I need this 90 pointing down. All right. So now we got the 90 point down. Got my channel locks now out. And we'll finish it off with the Swedish pipe. And there we go. So now that I should drain down and it'll miss all the workings in there that it's making a mess on. And now the only thing left to do is fill it with oil. <laughs> 